Well, welcome once again to review your ride. Today we've got what would have to be the newest car we've ever done on this show. It's a almost brand new Ford Kluger little SUV. Not what you'd call a lot of room in the back of it. Probably enough for a little SUV. And for the rear passengers, not a great deal of room. Probably enough for kids. That seat's in my position where I like it, and I can only just fit in there when I sit in there, and I'm about six foot tall. All the instruments and steering wheel and gear stick. I don't particularly like that dash layout. But anyway, what do you do? And as we always do, we have a look under the bonnet. It's pretty crowded under there. This is the 1.5 litre petrol turbocharged engine. It's the EcoBoost model. And we'll see how that performs in a few minutes. Okay, as we always do, we will take it for a drive and uh, see what it's like on the road and a bit of traffic and we'll get it up on the freeway. We should be able to do that pretty well straight away because we are very close to the Gateway Motorway. This has got a push button start, so I've been told you've got to put your foot on the brake pedal, push the button, and away it goes. Let's go for a run. Into drive, park brake off. Alright, as we said, this is the 1.5 litre EcoBoost petrol engine that Ford have in it. It is a front wheel drive only, you can get them in all wheel drive. It's an automatic, I don't think you can get them in anything other than automatic. You sit quite high in it compared to an ordinary car. Again, first impressions, it's, I don't like the finish in it, it is the base model must thank Julie who I work with, this is her new, fairly new company car she's got, she's letting me drive it to see what it's like, so thanks Julie. Alrighty, we've got it up to 100, I can hear a little bit of wind noise from the mirror, I think that is, a little bit of roar from the tyres, no gearbox noise, no engine noise, no exhaust noise, just a little bit of tyre roar and what sounds like wind noise from the mirror. All right, we're doing 80, let's change lanes and give it a footfall, see how we go. Oh, full throttle, here we go. Oh, talk steer. That is reasonably responsive for a little tiny engine. And what's not particularly a light car, I can't imagine. So what do I think of the Ford Cougar? Not to be confused with the Ford Cougar that came out about 10, 15 years ago, which was a little sports car-y looking thing, which was not real popular here. Well, it's not too bad. I haven't driven too many of these little mini SUVs, but this one's not too bad to drive, although however, it'd want to be pretty good. It, uh, it's almost brand new. It's only done about 800 k Still all nice and tight. Don't know if I'd buy one myself. Probably not really, because it doesn't suit me. But there's plenty of room in it for, you know, kids, a bit of luggage. It's reasonably economical from what I can tell. <coughs> it's reasonably easy to park. The steering's nice and light in a car park, which is probably the only good thing about electric steering. It, it really does make them easy to park. Good to see out of. It's got nice mirrors, nice vision all round. Not too bad at all. The only thing that really annoys me is the damn start-stop. And I'm sure you can disable that if you go into its multiple range of computer gizmo things that are in it which again are too complicated for me at least one thing I have found with the start stop in it at least it restarts as soon as you take your foot off the brake pedal I've driven other ones where it won't reignite the engine until you actually put your foot on the throttle which is really annoying so if it's you're going to have one yeah, you're taking your foot off the brake and it restarts by the time you've got your foot on the gas pedal. At least the engine's running and you can take off and you don't hold traffic up. Thanks once again for watching Review Your Ride. 
I'm John Green. Drive safely, and we'll see you next time.